Hello, this morning we're going to read the Declaration of Independence, which is law, July 14, 1776. The little United Little States with state rights gathered together all 13 colonies or states and declared this, and they signed it for July 1776. Brought to you, of course, by Immucist. You can find it at immucist.com or Simply Clean Foods. We'll leave the Simply Clean Foods dot uh, net down below but you can just go to immusis.com yes and, it, and they can also call jackie at seven oh, oh i forget it's a it's a anyway the link will be below yes it will when the declaration of independence of the united states of america little u little s because we are a little united states and we are america so in the court when in the you can ask your congressman what the what the first word is in Declaration of Independence. And if he doesn't say the, he's an idiot. Anyway, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and, the, and of nature's God entitle them a a docent respect for the opinions of mankind sorry a decent respect for the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal now men is the word for men and women did yes. you know that yes i did it's a latin word yes and all men are created equal, which drives the Democrats People nuts. Don't get shook up. Don't get shook up. The abortion clinics, 95% of the abortions are non-white. Don't worry about it. Let God handle these Democrats. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are established among men, driving their just powers from the consent of the governed. And whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute a new government laying the foundation on such principles and organizing the powers in such form. And then it goes on to declare what the English government has done to the American people, which is what the English government through the Democrats has done to America. That's the Declaration of Independence. And the Democrats can't stand it, but the Organic Constitution of 1871 says that if you swear loyal to the Constitution of the United States, the Organic Constitution, you must obey the U.S. Constitution. Now, they have a sworn oath to God. So I'm, we're praying that God calls in the markers for the Democrats because they are not obeying the Constitution of the United States or the Declaration of Independence, which they signed and they swore loyalty to through the Organic Constitution. So, God, we ask you to call in the markers for all the people disobeying the Constitution, including all lawyers. The Masons have... A blood oath to obey the laws of the land, along with follow Satan. But they must obey the laws of the land. And all the Masons not following the Constitution, all you judges and lawyers, we are asking God to call on your marker. You know exactly what that means. To release the demons into you for destruction. For disobeying your blood oath and your oath to God on a Bible. I think... Biden and Kamala Harris swore on a satanic Bible or something, but they still swore. They swore an oath. And we're asking God to call on the marker. We'll see you tomorrow.